Yo, yo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, in three, two, three, two, one. On the troll. Yo, yo. Yes, sir. Hello and welcome to Mzansu. We are back again. It is that time of the night again where we give you your stories. So the story we are going to talk about is it, it is not linked to some of the stories that we have dealt with. It's a different story. It is a, a story that uh, would require you to think in a probably a different way. Some of you might know some of the people that we talk about because maybe they are celebs, as I would like to put them. I don't know. They are social media celebs or whatsoever. But Emily has concocted, put together this proper, solid story. Hear it out. Give it time. And as you do that, subscribe, like the video, and comment as much as you can. This is the best, I think, when I was looking at it, I was excited. Emily, give us your two cents. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Mzanti Reality YouTube channel. So now we're going to cover a very different story, totally off the mark of what we've been covering all this time. Usually, I think I started, I started with... with the previous video that I've done before and I just wanted you guys to stay updated on this one. It's with regards to very popular figures. Some of you may have heard of them before, mm. both of them, mm. except for the, the, the third one because he is anonymous. He doesn't have an identity or a name. However, he's also a very big part of this love triangle that I'm going to try and unpack for you guys. Okay? It's a love triangle. It's a love triangle, allegedly. So now we'll go to Pretoria now. There's another Zgatla brewing there. Yes. And I don't know how many of you know about Vosima R5, a Bacardi artist who passed away earlier this year after getting shot at. I've learned to know uh, that person uh, because of someone that I know who always would like to tell me how that person started most of a certain music was I used to have a lot of questions as where is this music coming from? Bacardi. Yes. Those who've seen it is with the girls and the mini skirts. Now it is modernized that one. Yeah, who like it to? is modernized. When I used to ask about it, it was just uh what we call that music, that that raw one, you know. Mm -hmm. And I used to ask, what is this thing? And I remember I was still at Vasage at the time. So now this one of, of shaking and whatnot, it's, it's a new thing that is, <laughs> that is happening. <laughs> I guess everything changes. Yeah, if you're scrolling through socials, I use Mavona with the skirts. Mm. And, you know, Some of them, they don't even don't. wear anything. <laughs> Just watch them at your own risk. Yeah, Bacardi, yeah, Bacardi is something else. So, so his demise was a very much a big deal on social media because I even remember videos of his funeral trending on social media. The things that were happening there. There was even Maponapona ladies there yeah, exactly. doing their things. Exactly. Even Moja Love did record his funeral and broadcasted it in their network on a show they have called After Tears. Mm. It was very wild during that time. Then mm, shortly mm, after, mm. I also saw on social media that his tombstone had been vandalized. And then the family, of course, managed to have it fixed. Yes. But now we have a new problem. Yes. It's coming in the form of a slay queen. Mm, 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 mm. And this slay queen is allegedly embroiled in all of this. It's not just any other slay queen. It's a slay queen we have seen and heard of before. Her name is Lerato Habiba Makhatu. Yes. Famously known for coming out with a Zgaka about three years ago. Mm. She was sharing her bedroom escapades with uh, Gwede Mantashe, the Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy. Mm. She had referred to the minister as a tiger in the bedroom. <laughs> she also allegedly was involved in the bedroom activities and escapades with uh, Ditomboweni. You know, yeah. and uh, this is one of the other politicians that she said she had a relationship with and that she had entertained in the bedroom and referred to him. Mm. So, 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 As the, the, are you going to... Ute on the papers at the time that they had written that he said that uh, 
Tito Mboweni was kind of slower than than Kwele <laughs> and, and, and that says that Tito Mboweni <laughs> was stingy allegedly was it written or something it was written in the paper i remember that paper very well and uh, she came back with a statement and a video to correct that and, and claimed that uh, she has had about six rounds a night with the <laughs> I'm not in a relationship with Tito. I'm not in a relationship with Rikwe. The relationship is that like um, Kali di Afe, like Tito and when we broke up last year November, and then we are not in early this year. But we, like we are still good friends. We still communicate. We are not enemies. Baba. So can we let's surprise the fellow who are like live at Versailles because of this story. It's about into era hits and recently. It's not a recent thing. The reason why we did the story is because no one they made me believe for one to at solam pele a a black military minister and then this the story needs to come out so that this person can stop. The information once it's out there then it's useless. Our normal taka a kanyo ko use our black military mode. So but it's it's a thing of the past and then like whenever we we do talk and then we are cool with each other. But I broke up like I mean Aksan dalo ba na balichu. Yeah, and like I never said, Hori Titon Boweni, who like he's weak in bed or he doesn't last long the way back with Tengate. I just said, like, who traditional, who more different, who different than Gwede. Yes, Gwede is a tiger in bed, but it doesn't mean Hori Tito is not good in bed or he doesn't last long. No, it's a lie. I mean, even last, like, if it's like about six rounds on Nalien, so he's also good in bed. So it's just I get Carlo Hanyor Navaza Mahira. They are both good in bed. So one of Lerato's other scandals was when she appeared on Zanti Magic's show called Uya Tandana Na. Mm. That was like five years ago uh, where she appeared there and there was a guy who had a crush on her and he she said to this guy, You cannot afford my lifestyle. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that, that? I remember. I remember that. I, I remember it. You're so young. You're so young. You cannot afford my lifestyle. But it ended in love, right? Mm -hmm. And then they had the moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, "Oh my God, you swept me off my feet and stuff." Yeah, it was an interesting episode. Every now and again, when I need a good laugh, I go and I watch it. <laughs> I go and I watch it again. But then then a year later, she was also seen fighting for a man on the Moja Love Show. I guess that guy was gone already. Razzotella with her friend. She mm. was fighting with her friend on Razzotella for a man. Mm -hmm. Now she's embroiled in yet another love triangle. This time, she's alleging that it's between herself, her sugar daddy or blesser, and Vosima Arafaif. Mm-hmm. Now there's a blog that I follow online and this is what they printed. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I quote They printed that a suspect a suspected man was allegedly taken into custody at the Luwate police station in Mabupani over the weekend. Mm. It's alleged he was arrested and questioned for assaulting her ex girlfriend, the controversial Habiba Mahatu. A self-proclaimed, now she's a DJ, MC, slay queen, queen of Pitori. Mm -hmm. So according to reports, the suspect threatened to unalive her the same way he unalived Vosima R5. Now here we go. Now most people were asking, why is the story here? Because we always talk about, now you get the gist of the story. That's why we are talking about it. It's further alleged that on the affidavit done by Ms. Mahatu, she claimed to have had an affair with Vosima R5 and left an abusive boyfriend. This is alleged to be the same guy who bought her a house worth 2.5 million as a Valentine's Day gift in 2022. Whoa. By the time of publishing, mm -hmm. they were still, this is Pitapitori online. They were still waiting for comment from Miss Mahatu, and they are saying that this is a developing story. Now you see why I wanted to share it with you guys. Mm, 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 mm. 
So, so in 2022, she made headlines claiming that after three months of dating a rich blesser, that rich blesser surprised her with a house and a car for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Her blesser, who was 41 at the time, did not want to be named. He was married with kids. And then he said that he gave Habiba the house because he believed in empowering women. He told the Daily Sun that Habiba is special to her. She is beautiful, humble, talented, and very focused. When he met her, he was expecting a gold digger, attention-seeking, and a drama queen. But she is actually humble and intelligent. However, he said his first love would always be his wife, as she had been with him through thick and thin. And now today, he might be implicated in a murder of Vosima R5 because he believed Lerato was cheating with him, allegedly. Mm. So this is a mess. So we haven't so far uh, been given any suspects for um, the demise of, of Ma'ar 5. No. So now we might be given that due to love triangle. Sure. My jaw dropped because when he passed away it was unknown why who could have wanted to do something like that to him in fact i was sad myself i was very sad i'm like who would want to you know i don't know how do you call buying someone a house or buying someone for that matter empowering, empowering them. them and that's a way that gets to be misused by a lot these so-called slay queens that we have yeah. in south africa you still someone's husband woman and then you are empowering it's a woman empowerment you you you, you that person buys you a car it's a woman empowerment you do that job where you have to undress now woman empowerment we might be caught in a crime situation that has a potential of taking or in fact that took someone's life allegedly mm. from empowering from slaying from uh, the description of 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 this woman by this man totally different in fact an opposite of what we see what i see personally what i see is exactly what he said you, she was not <laughs> she went back to differ <laughs> i mean she, she also thinks like that guy was describing her. She thinks she's humble. She thinks she's... There's nothing you can tell Lerato Habiba, honey. Nothing. So now there's crime that needs to be investigated. I mean, if someone is volunteering, giving such information... Why is she volunteering the information to begin with? Maybe it's to disarm this man, not to do to any more damage. <sighs> not to do any more damage, because what else... I mean, I mean, not many people know her. She's famous, yes, indeed. Not famous, popular. Oh, she's popular. Mm, there's a difference. She's popular. Oh, well, thank you for correcting me. For correcting me, I know that all these people are famous. Mshlali Damas is famous. Uh, everyone is famous for me. That is, uh, we see on TV now and then. She's been on these shows. God knows acting or doing what. We don't know if she's still acting even now and, and, and in now bringing the name of someone who unfortunately has passed was on. famous. But she's not just making these claims. I mean, there are pictures. There are pictures that, that are supporting that. Yes. You see now, that's a different story. We need to look at that. I will be following this story as it develops. And keeping you updated, guys. And until the next one. Can you imagine your own slave queen that you have empowered getting you arrested? Writing that on a statement. Why was she quiet? All this time. All this time. God knows for how long. Hmm. So she basically she's also claiming the trophy, if it's a trophy, of getting someone eliminated because of her because of of her i guess because she the queen was in love with that guy and then is that the reason why she was according to her 
I mean, this is according to her because it's no long, it's not yet validated. Is that the reason why this guy lost his life? We that would be awful. That would be tragic. It just doesn't make sense. It's just things sometimes, but it's a story that is brewing, and 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 thank you for bringing it to us. No, Normally, this one is brewing. I I do not like the the celebrity story. But this one has someone's life taken. Someone who was an example to many. Uh, someone who... R5 grinded guy. Who did, uh, in terms of music, I'm, I'm not going to talk about anything else. I'm just going to talk in terms of music because music-wise... he Bacardi High, he pushed Bacardi He played that thing when it was not popular. No. Back in the 2000s, like when nobody was interested in it, he made it popular. And when when he did pass away, I mean, or, or most most people were were sad. Were, were like, Indeed, it's always it's sad like to lose the, someone. It's like the ending of Bacardi match. Mm. It's, it's always like, sad to lose someone. It's not always, it's not it's not going to be nice to lose someone. You don't enjoy that. And you know what's painful is that at the moment when he was starting to now get into mainstream mm. and his career was mm. picking up. Mm. His life ended. But I will never understand if indeed this is true. A guy who says, I will go take someone's life because of this woman that now does not love me the same way because of this guy. Because this, he loves this guy. She loves this guy now. I, I would never understand that. Like, I always try to put myself in those people's shoes and I still cannot fit. Because for me, it's always about me first. Why can't you just leave her? It's always about me first. Like, leave her. How many people depend on me? How many people expect me to do the right thing? I would never understand. Do you even think we got so much backlash for that other video we did? Mm. Nah, you, there's a that might be a girl center. involved. Oh, guys, dump. You can still dump. That is a lot there are of, many women. There is a lot, a lot of, of women, women out here. Like a leave, lot of women. Like, leave them alone, the ones that you are not safe. You can even get the better one if you are into those things on who looks like what and what not. There's always a better one, better than the one that you have. Just leave. Why are you going to go all the way out? Oh, well, because maybe of the finances then. Don't, when you invest, you know, the money that you invest mm -hmm. in a woman, take it as a money that you drop on the street. Yes, because or a, don't a expect dream. returns. Don't. When you lose money in the street, you don't expect returns. No. Hence, if you do that, you would know that that woman does not owe you anything. You move on. You move on. Mm, this is awful. And why invest in any case if you're still going to need that money? The, the inverted investment, that investment. Or you're that going you're to about. have expected returns. Mm. Don't even call it an investment. Call it something else. Why because spend? when you invest, you are expecting returns. You're expecting that your money will grow. But that's a talk that she, he was saying. So to him, it looked like an investment. What was he going to get back for babies the and, and, the and and all that? I guess, and he didn't get any of that. Now, he could be brought in for questioning and how it works. If you do not have fed pockets, most likely the chances are that you going down. I we will see what happens. If she will retract her statement or what, she's a bona call. But you can't play with something like that. Not when you have pictures with that that person and all that. It, even if you retract a statement. I wasn't going to believe her until I saw the pictures. And I was like, you. Oh, now I you start to believe her. Once you see those pictures, you start to, to, to link one and two together. You're like, oh, yeah, she might have a point. Mm. Mm, she might be on to something. But then, guys, we will follow the story and give it to you as the updates come from Asad Mzan's realities. Thank you for watching. And hopefully you learn something from all of these stories that we cover and protect yourself, protect your all life. All 
always going to have to do with an element of crime now and then and that's where we are for now for now that's where we are where there is crime we want to be there and where there is injustice we want to be there, there. it's a bye from us guys enjoy bye guys <laughs>